It's a bunker. I love Sue. Oh, ho, ho. Beautiful breeze, guys. Beautiful. Straight there in front of me. That's the Atlantic Ocean out there. That the IDB three things. Why I didn't catch any fish today again. Number one, he got a very black black goat that bit me. <laughs> or I'm losing my touch with age. <laughs> Yeah, this is, that's off. Sorry, I would like to go out there. No, it's too soft. I'm gonna sing dung in this mud. Hey, what's up you amazing people out there? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are keeping safe, staying healthy. Um, it's a beautiful Saturday today, so we just decided to go take a drive over the bridge and see what it looks like and maybe throw a line or two, maybe some fish might be out there, lucky to have a bite or two. So we decided to just take a drive and go out there. So um, you guys can join us on this trip and let's see if uh, we can uh, have any fun catching some fish it's going towards the over the river to Kamawaina I mean I went there with you guys already before but this time I'm going to um, go back there but a different area it's like a uh, New Amsterdam so let's see guys let's see what we can have today let's see what fun is on the other side of the bridge I remember the last time when I introduced my buddy to you guys I thought I was recording but um, for some reason the camera wasn't recording so I wasn't able to put that in my vlog the last time so I'd like you guys to meet my my good friend my brother my buddy we actually grew up in Suriname together we we went back a long 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 time back and this is the guy I usually hang out with we go fishing together we go driving together we do everything together my nephew is the bagger sitting to he's joining us today uh, so he he didn't want to um, to hold the fishes for us if you get any fish. Keep count. So yeah, he'll keep count of the fish. So join us guys. Uh, let's see what happens over the river. There's traffic on the bridge. Like I mentioned in the last uh, video guys, the, the lockdown has been lifted a little bit so we have a little bit more uh, privilege now. Not, uh, not much uh, tight uh, restrictions anymore, so you can see everyone is out on the road. What are the chance guys? Every time I come out on the road to do some vlogging, <laughs> it always rates. <laughs> Okay guys, the rain just passed by, so hopefully it's beautiful sunshine now. Hoping. Video, a non copyright song. Yeah. So that's what connected the world. Okay guys, we're gonna go on left. We're coming to a rotunda here now. If you go straight, you go towards Albina. If you go right, you're going to Paper Pub, but we're gonna go left. We're gonna go to Kamasara Tour Kawek. It's taking you towards um, New Amsterdam, towards uh, the museum just driving down the same road. Kamasara Tour Kawek. And this neighborhood here is mainly inhabited by uh, different races. You can find East Indians, Javanese, Negroes, everyone lives here. And as you go down further towards New Amsterdam, that's the fishing village where most of the fishermen they live. 
look there guys see they have their farm there they have tomatoes and uh, I think um, with guard string beans look look there string beans there those are string beans oh they whiten this bridge cash yeah just need a ride over bridge not just a foundation bridge. a foundation bridge yeah exactly and that will take care of the whole problem yeah guys this is a sluice here this is where they let the water in You guys know me right I I love the country I love the greenery I love the scenes so beautiful I always enjoy driving out here oh this is a new bridge too yeah, yeah you call this uh, this is a uh, Liston Rest I mean, if the entertainment video is one thing, but it's not properly fool people, you know? Yeah, but that's the thing, right? I mean, people make a lot of content on YouTube, but... But it gets a, it does get a lot of view. Views. I but there's no advertisement on it. Uh, yeah. Uh, people won't place advertisement on fake videos. Fake videos, yeah. I don't know. People get away with it. Without fish, when you said, um, when you see the pot, you know you had more than two fish in the pot. But you did say, okay, we, we only caught two. Yeah, exactly, right? Yeah. So when people, when there's more fish, okay, we put some more. Uh, we did yeah. mention we only got two. How many guys remember uh, Palm Village? It's supposed to be Palm Village, guys. Okay, guys. If you look at the road, straight in front of me going straight this road takes you directly into New Amsterdam but during the years the, uh, the road is washed out so this road doesn't go there anymore we have to take a detour going right that used to be the old road but it's washed out because of the erosion and according to what people are claiming in a few more years time this whole part here will be washed out too because of the sea erosion so this is a diversion road that they used to go down to New Amsterdam Okay guys, we are getting now into uh, New Amsterdam. If you go left, we go towards Marienburg, but we're gonna go, um, I mean, if you, sorry, if you go right towards Marienburg, if you go towards this direction, it's Marienburg, but we're going towards the other direction, we're going left, towards New Amsterdam. New Amsterdam is a, a small town. A lot of fishermen, they live around this area here. And this is where you have the Fort Amsterdam. That's the old Dutch fort. If you uh, turn right, we go, uh, we're going towards uh, the Fort Amsterdam now. Where you came here one time? Yes, guys, this is the old Fort Amsterdam. It's now a museum. Maybe some other day I'll come back here and I'll just take a tour of the museum to let you guys see what it looks like. You have the playground there for the kids to play. A lot of tourists come here, that's a fire service you have there. A lot of tourists will come here to visit the place. Bye. 
Welcome in Fort New Amsterdam. There's a sign up there. And over there is the open air museum, the outdoor museum. It's beautiful here, guys. Oh, it's busy, guys. A lot of people here. Oh, actually, we went from the wrong side. We are on the other side. This is the outdoor. Yeah. Uh, we got to turn around back. All right, let's see what it looks like, guys. There are lots of people here today. Everyone is just out here relaxing, chilling. Everyone's going to picnic. Look there guys, people were their ice box with their food. <laughs> Okay guys, let's see if we can find a parking spot. <laughs> yeah, go on. There's one side of the car there too. Okay. Guess you can park right on this tree here. Perfect. Okay guys, we're here. We're going towards the the place where we can just throw some fishing lines. This is a bit of um, New Amsterdam here. This the town of New Amsterdam. It's a big tree, guys. <laughs> Lots of people here. Picnicking, relaxing. Look at this place, guys. Beautiful. There's a lot of boats out there in the, on, on the ocean. On the, well, that's the river going to the ocean. See the coconut tree. Look at the coconuts. And this is the, that's the Suriname River going out into the Atlantic Ocean. Straight ahead in front of me is the Atlantic Ocean. So we are basically close to the mouth of the river. Going down towards the water now. Yeah. It's a very narrow bridge, guys. Actually, they repaired the bridge. It was the last time I came here, the bridge was very old. It's repaired now. Look. There's water there. Both sides. What do you see there, Kesh? Oh, you got fish in here? Oh. Okay. 
Oh yeah, that's right, that's true. I think it's a bite thing. Oh, oh, oh. Beautiful breeze, guys. Beautiful. Straight there in front of me, that's the Atlantic Ocean out there. Okay, the water is coming in or it's going out? It's coming in. Okay, guys. It's just a beautiful day, guys. <laughs> Remember just now it was raining? Oh, there you have the sun now. And that's a kite of deer flying. From these uh, palm nuts, that's where you get the palm oil from. That's what it looks like, guys. You got a bait in there. Oh, shrimp for bait, that's what we normally use. Shrimp is one, we're gonna get one next second. All right. All right, guys, let's try this. I tell you, nah. Not so hot today, it's, uh, it's very breezy. Look at the ambience, guys. And there's the and that's towards the museum see look one of the see one of the guns here the cannon look there see if you look there you have cannons you look there you look there's a cannon there you have two cannons right there the cannons there look there's one right here See? So this whole place here used to be the fort. When you go that way, is, that way is up river, right? Going this way is down river, going towards the sea, right? And that is what our little passenger boat looks like that goes across the river, that takes passengers back and forth. And what's coming there? That's a fishing boat, small fishing boat. Let me go around and see Kesh. It looks like soft mud though. Woohoo! Yeah, this is. That's soft. Sorry. I would like to go out there. No, it's too soft. I'm gonna sing down in this mud. It's too soft. Nah, I won't try that. Forget it. 
No, you can't wear long boots and go down here. You'll get stuck in there. If I like it. Huh? It's very slippery. You gotta be careful. Yeah, it's slippery. You can't take a chance. Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Change my mind. <laughs> yeah. What time is this, Jaro? Tani? Oh, shoot. I think that's a kingfisher, the bird. I'm not so sure, but I guess. Uh, the bird is looking for food for fishes. Well guys, I guess the the water is going out. Oh, the fish goes out also. The fishes goes out. Well, we just uh, we just came to check see what it would, what it would be like. Okay guys, I walked around the other the other side of here standing there. And I walked around the other side. Whew, these stones are getting hot. I came around the other side. See that the cannon is there? I think this river here that's coming out, I think this is the Kumawena River. I gotta check it out. It comes out and it goes out into the ocean. This goes inland. Well guys, I guess no fishes today. Uh, we just came to check to see what would it what it'd be like. Well it was okay, it was nice, it's fun. Yeah, but the guy can catch anything too. Okay guys, it gotta either be three things. Why I didn't catch any fish today again. Number one, it got a very black black goat. That bit me. <laughs> or I'm losing my touch with age. <laughs> or the fishes are still in uh, lockdown. They haven't come out as yet. I'm sitting right in the sun on top of this cannon here. Look, like the sun is up there. Pure vitamin D for you. So I guess we can head out, guys. Uh, drive back to Par Marble. We'll come back another day when the tide is coming in. If you guys can see all the way where that uh, the the tree line ends there, on the edge there, that's called uh, Bramspent. That's right where the, the Atlantic Ocean meets the river, comes in the river. And that's another fishing village out there too. We usually go out there to to do some fishing. The last time we went out there, we got a, quite a few set of fish. So I guess um, maybe sometime we can go back out there again. You have to rent a small boat that takes you out there to the point. Uh, We'll see whenever uh, we can go there. That'll be fun. Actually, this is all part of the museum. See all the cannons up there? 
Look at cannons there. Cannons are there. I guess this fort was well protected. It's just so peaceful when you're out here. Look at there, guys. Look at the river from there. Look at the ocean from there. Look at that side, guys. Ministry of Handel, Industry and Tourism. It's a government building here. Yeah. It's, it's all a local. It's all government buildings here. Okay guys, so we are heading back out now. Just to show you guys some more of what the Amsterdam tongue looks like. You got two Got two big slippers there. <laughs> Has to mean something. That's our uh, flat painted thingy there. I guess that's uh, used to be uh, that's a bunker. Yeah, that's it. that's a bunker. I love Sue. Look at these uh, old colonial houses. Aren't they so attractive looking? Beautiful. I mentioned once in my video, I mean, these buildings you can repair them, but you can't change the shape because they're in that, um, I think they're in a monumental society where you have to keep the, the same shape of the building, the colonial building, just to maintain the colonial heritage. I'm gonna come back here another day to show you guys the museum in here what it looks like. This is the outdoor museum. See the sign it says there? Open look museum, outdoor museum. It's a very uh, quiet, peaceful town. I don't mind living all the way out here. As long as I have my transportation every day. Remember just now guys, I was, um, when we were coming, I was telling you about the road that was uh, washed away because of erosion. This is the road. This is the main road that used to bring you into New Amsterdam. But I'll show you. If you take a road all the way straight, it goes into the river because of the, <laughs> the, the erosion that happened over the years. That's why now we have to use a detour to get back to Parma Marble and vice versa coming here. See guys, the road makes a turn going this way and then when it goes back that way, it goes into the river. See, the road can't go any, if you go straight, it goes into the river. Okay. So that's why we have that detour. If you take us road straight, we're taking us into Marienburg. Now we're gonna make a right here to go back to the city. Then we stop at the shop first to get them the drink. Oh, okay, I'm here. I'm here. Good. All right, guys. We're driving back to Paramaribo now. 
uh, it was a fun-filled afternoon. Good to go for a drive. Hopefully we can have more of these drives coming up. No more lockdown. Thanks for having you guys with us on this trip and following us to New Amsterdam. And um, I know you guys would enjoy it as much as I, we enjoyed it too. So thank you for being there with us. And if you love this video, then please give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe. Thank you guys. See you in the other video.